and it just makes it more interesting. And there's also another tool that you can use. You can also use, you can go down here and go to hue saturation. It also comes with a mask. You can turn it up a little bit, the saturation. You can adjust the hue. You can adjust the lightness. Welcome back to my channel. We are going to get into some tips and tricks into creating a more interesting portrait. And what I'm going to do is begin with um, some sketches. I did this portrait of a cat. And first I started with a sketch. And we're going to look at that. This is the steps. And this is either with a grid or without a grid. So you do the sketch, you start with the sketch, you do the background, you do the the subject that will guide you in creating the colors and where the where you need to put the colors and and or block in the colors. The next step is to after you do the sketch, like I said, block in all the colors as you can see here and you see that I go step by step into just blocking in colors going in here the background and then I try to smooth it all out using the soft brush and I go in and do a color picker as I pick the colors within uh, all these different shades I use you know I hold alt and I choose the colors in the in the painting on the canvas and you know I just smooth everything out at the beginning, I started with the hard brush. Near the end, I actually go in and patiently go through all the small details and the different, you know, areas. And I make sure the subject is more uh, clear and more defined than the rest of the photo or the rest of the painting. So the next thing I do is when I get to the final painting and I put in the final details as you can see here it is finished you know but there's some things that we can do to it this is the finished product but we're gonna see what else we can do with this there are tools on the layer panel and if you click new layer or if you click down here, it'll create a new layer once you choose the tool you want to use. Let's say you want to use levels. With the levels, you can darken areas if you need to. You can use this tool, this pull down menu right here, if you want to do a preset. Make it dark. and you can make your own custom adjustments but after you do that you see this mask here you can actually go to your brush your soft brush turn the opacity down just a little bit making sure the uh, this is uh, black or let's see control I to invert the mask so that, so that none of the adjustments are seen and slowly reveal them by painting in white since it's in black and just slowly revealing the darker areas so you can slowly bring in the dark details I'll make that darker too. So it brings out the adjustments uh, into view. So, and you can also use another tool. This other tool is the filter. You can put a slight tint of orange or whatever color that you think will make this look really nice. Um, 
You choose a purple. You can turn it up, the density. And you can have that on there. But you can also hold control and tap I to invert it. And you can bring the purple wherever you want it to be. And you make sure that it's, you know, the paintbrush is white and the opacity is low. So you can slowly bring in the purple details. So you can have a, a slight color show up in this. And it just makes it more interesting. And there's also another tool that you can use. You can also use, you can go down here and go to hue saturation. It also comes with a mask. You can turn it up a little bit, the saturation. You can adjust the hue. You can adjust the lightness. Um, you can choose a different, you know, way of doing this, but I usually choose the master. You have more control this way. Now you can control I to turn this to invert it. And then you can slowly bring in the saturation. You can see that you can have the saturation where you would like it to be. Undo the ears, have them more saturated. Maybe some of the around the eyes and the nose. And you see how different this looks. And you can always, if you don't like that much saturation on it, you can switch the color to black for the brush and take some of it away. And you still have the low opacity, if, just in case you don't want to uh, take all of it away. And there's another adjustment that we can work with. And it's color balance. And you can change different colors in the painting. You can do that. Maybe a little bit of blue. Control I. And if I want to bring some of this, some of these adjustments back, I could go over certain areas and make sure you have the white color since it's black and nothing is showing. You can then change the color of the cat completely. And it still maintains the light and dark areas. They're still preserved. And it just looks really, really nice. So those are just a couple of ways that you can change some colors, correct some colors. And yeah, just have fun with it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell if you like this video and there are many tools just to let you know there are many tools here there's photo filter there's uh black and white you can make it black and white and remember this is all when you're near the end of your painting you can you know make some adjustments if you need to with the colors and everything once everything is detailed finished and I highly suggest you walk away from the painting and then come back to see if you still feel the same. If you don't feel the same, you can go in and put a little more details or change some colors that you need to change. But there, these are just a couple of tips and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe and ring that notification bell. And I'll see you guys later.